I've taken my Adventure Pro out of my RMAX for some tinkering, testing. One of the reasons why I took it out was, let me uh, unlock this. I have this app, which, turn it on here. It's a um, grade pitch indicator. Works great. I love it. I love it until you install this into the Adventure Pro Cradle. And get it in here. So as it goes into Cradle, that's what happens. And this could be the software. I don't think it's a software. I think there's something else in the cradle that messes either with the compass. Um, if you guys that are using this um, have the same issue, let me know. So, let me get it out of here. I thought it could be this magnet. Let me get out of this. I thought it could be this magnet, so I took it apart, got the magnet out, and it was a futile wasted effort because it still does it with this magnet removed. And I don't think it's a smaller magnet here either. So that was a wasted effort. But while I have this apart, I figure I'd show you a couple of things. Some of you guys that, uh, when you insert your um, Adventure Pro into your cradle, it doesn't bring up all the functions um, some of that's because you don't have it properly seated, but there's also these, let me see if I can get close in here. Here's these pins and they're spring loaded. You want to, um, take a toothbrush, a dry toothbrush, remove all the dust, and then maybe take some alcohol and clean these contacts. And then finally... Take some dry lube and coat the pins with them and work them in and out so the lube gets in there so they don't bind. Um, you don't want to use graphite because graphite is electrically conductive and it could short out um, some of the pins. But you can use graphite here and on the lock. So you don't want to use grease or anything that attracts dirt. So once again, dry lube. Um, my favorite commercial dry lube is um, Liquid Wrench Dry Lube with Surflon. And I also do the lock. You can see my key goes in nice in and out. And <clears throat> so this is my release. It's important that when you guys um, lock your unit that you put this cover back on. You may not see it because it's recessed and you don't know it's there. But make sure when you lock it or you put this back on to prevent corrosion. The other thing is when you're trying to do the lock, if you have this... Key ring. If you have your lock on just one key ring circle, it's going to make your life frustration because you can't. If you have it by itself, it's fine, you know. But if you have it attached to your ignition key, get get a um, one of those double double it up on the key rings, or get one of those paracord keychains. So that way you can keep this out of the way while you insert it. Otherwise, you're, this prevents you from, you know, trying to work the lock. The other thing is you notice the vent holes down below. I'm not worried about washing mine when I have the Adventure Pro in there. But if you have the Adventure Pro out, 
um, water could probably get in here. And I'm sure they have a conformal coating that protects it from moisture. I mean, it's common sense. But if you're using your pressure washer and you don't have your Adventure Pro in the cradle to block moisture from getting here, just be careful spraying here. So, stop it. Also, if you're removing your cradle for some reason, you broke it or whatnot, these screws, the OEM screws, they're stainless. So if you're thinking like I did, hey, I can use a magnet to capture them while I'm unscrewing them, that's not going to work. <laughs> they're stainless. Luckily, I have some leftover screws from my clutch grease cover that fit in there nicely. Um, so let me go over hooking it up. So a lot of guys ask about the Adventure Pro and transferring files. When you hook, sorry, you um, iPad owners or Apple owners, you're, you're, you're out of luck. For PC guys, when you hook up your, your Adventure Pro to your computer, Okay, um, let me go to the main screen and work you from there. Okay, so you click on, click on the up button there, click on the checkerboard, go to settings, <clears throat> open Android, and you can swipe down here and you'll see this USB for charging. Tap on that and click, click the file transfer. And now on my computer, see if it shows up. Yeah, let me take this out of the cradle. So now on my computer, I can see the Adventure Pro. Double click on it, and there's my um, my internal and external SD card. And I usually put all my files in my SD card download so I can install them. Just a little tip there. Um, when you're installing apps, you can't discuss this ad nauseum, you can't use Google Play services or Google Download. You have to use, you have to copy them to either directly to your Adventure Pro or if you want to do a file transfer, get that light out of there. Um, let's see. Use Amazon App Store or search for the APK file on Google. And you have to copy it manually, you just double click on it to install it. So just to get work, work you through that, go to File Manager. I'm gonna go to my my SD card. If you, I wouldn't store anything internally because there's already a little space there to begin with. Go to your SD card. As you can see, I've tried to install Google services and I've partially installed it, but not successfully. So then I go to my uh, all folder and then download. And there is my APKs, and just click on it, and it says you want to install, and just click install. I've already have this installed, so I'm gonna cancel. But that's pretty much how you install any app manually. Also, the wireless. If you're not updating your Adventure Pro for software. Turn your wireless off because it it'll consume your battery. It'll your Adventure Pro won't go into sleep mode, but if it's 
if it's still connected to your network. And if you turn wireless off when you're not using it, your battery will last a lot longer. So I think that's it for also for you engineers watching. I've already gone over this with uh, the owner intake session we had a couple days ago. These functions. So GPS speed. And then you have max GPS speed. Please combine these together. Simply take the max, simply take the GPS speed and put a little red marker where the max was. That way we don't have to choose between the two and just can, we can use one. Same thing with um, max RPM and RPM. Combine, just have your RPM gauge. And then whenever you hit max RPM, just put a little red indicator there. And that way you won't have to choose between the two gauges and have it all in one. For miles per gallon, I like to reset my average miles per gallon every time I fill up. I have to disconnect my Adventure Pro to reset it. Give us the option when we um, click on miles per gallon and hold it down. Give the option to reset, just like resetting an odometer. You know, same with all these. I mean, there's a lot of gauges here where it says like intake temp um, or max water temp. Just combine the water temp and the max water temp into one gauge where, once again, there's a little red indicator showing where the max water temp was. And that way, it'll be a lot more functional. So hopefully you guys can do that on Adventure Pro 2.0. We're installing these screws. Get a piece of silicone hosing, put your screw on it. Put it in by hand. Pull it off, and then you can finish up with a screwdriver. I've lost three of these now, and this is the best solution. Um, also, you notice I removed Hey guys, excuse me. I not only removed the firewall, but I removed this top piece as well. I was stubborn. I didn't want to remove the four bolts for this top piece, and it's worth it because it gives you much easier access to those back bolts. Don't chew on it. Don't chew on it. I'll give you attention. Don't chew on it. Also, those of you guys complaining you can't wash the top of your skids plates out with mud, remove your lower fender guards, spray a hose in there, and you can get it in, in there as well. But also when you remove this side panel, it gives you a good squirt to underneath here, as well as the center of the tunnel. So you don't need to remove your skids to wash, wash them properly. Just get your, know your access points. Also, spray a hose back in there. You should get the majority of the mud out. So I was going to adjust my throttle cable since I have the firewall off and I decided not to. Reason being is if I floor my pedal and then I try and pull the slack out here there is none so right now you can see there's a little bit of play right here from the rubber stop to this thing if I remove that play out and I floor it there's no longer going to be any uh, tension giving the rubber's tension is going to give out and the stop at the end of the uh, throttle cable 
is going to break off. Um, you've probably seen Jason Dimmick's video where his his broke because he adjusted this, and I've done it on my other model as well. So it's, a lot of us are guilty of adjusting this free play. I would suggest not because when I floor it, I try and pull this cable out any further. It's against up against the stop. So what I'm talking about here, you can see better that free play. A lot of you might be tempted to remove it, but here's the throttle control model module. Um, it's cable to here, but from here to the throttle bodies, it's electronic. Um, if you remove that free play it's going to take the slack out and when you go to floor it you can possibly break off the cable uh, end here so leave it alone